Hi, my name is Andrea. This is Geeky Girls Journal. Today, I wanted to record a video for those of you that are looking for an alternative way to edit your videos. Some of you are using things like CapCut and you're using advanced programs like Premiere Pro and maybe it's just too advanced for you. You're having a difficult time trying to figure out what to do, how to create effects, how to do all those extra things. And you want something that's just a little bit more standard and user friendly. So I have another option for you. Um, we're going to start by going to the Play Store. If you have an Android, that's where you go to find your apps. If you have an Apple device, I'm not sure where you go. Wherever you go to find your apps, then that's where you're going to go. So we're going to start out by going to Play Store. And then uh, we are going to search for the app that I'm telling you about. It's called YouTube Creator App, and you see it right there. So <clears throat> hit YouTube Create. This is the video editor that YouTube created in order to edit your videos like a pro. So go ahead and click YouTube Create. After you click, you click YouTube Create, you see that I already have it installed. So I'm just going to open it up. You have to install it if you do not have it installed. So go to Open, and then you'll see I already have some video, uh, videos in here. So I'm just going to click on the one at the top, and we'll use that for example while I'm doing this. So let's see. Just press play, and, and uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how you can use some of the different features for YouTube Create. So I'm going to go ahead and press Hi, play. my name is Andre. So here, that is the video that we're going to use. And it, if you go down, you can see here that you have so many different options. You have, that's the uh, trash can that you see. That's if you want to delete something. The scissors over here, that is if you'd like to cut something or trim it. So we're going to start right at the bottom where it says overlay. If you want to add something on top, let me see. I'll just pick a picture from here import it and there you see here's an overlay if you want to put it you can enlarge it you can make it smaller you can tilt it you can straighten it up whatever you want to do so that's one feature i don't want that there so i'm going to delete it all right next you see if you like to add text you can do plain text right here and i'll just type something this is awesome okay so we have this is awesome we'll just use that just for the sake of showing you how to create different uh, styles and you know to show you how you can enlarge or decrease the size of your text so you can go to so you have edit here if you wanted to edit something out say you didn't want it to say awesome you just wanted to say this is grand okay so this is grand done so we'll use that text if you want to change the different styles you see here that you can make it larger you can make it smaller you can change the font style. Here are all the options that you have. There you are. <laughs> Some other ones right here. So you can do so many different things with this. You might want to change the color. Let's see. Let me go back to style. You might want to change the font size. We did that. You might want to change the color. Maybe instead of it being white, you want it to be black or gray or red or orange. Whatever color you'd like for it to be. Yellow. Okay, now background let's talk about that you can put a background behind it a white background black all these different colors so you could just play around with whatever it is that you like i don't like the way that looks so i'm going to go back and format do you want it to be bold do you want it to be bold do you want it to be italicized do you want it to be underlined do you want it to be you know centered or you have all these different options play around with them yourself and see you can outline the lettering see um and you can change the opacity, you can change the thickness, you can do so many different things. Shadow, I don't want a shadow on here, so I'm just going to go out of it, but I'm just trying to get, give you an idea of those different things that you can do. You can do animation. Here are the different options for animation. Okay, I'm not going to animate anything right now because I don't feel like it. <laughs> so after animation, you can rotate it. Um, here you are, you can rotate it. Go all the way around, you can... Play around with this and get it to, you know, whatever you rotate it as much as you like or don't. <laughs> it's your choice. Next is, okay, you see you can just duplicate it. You can do so many different things um, with that. I don't need those words there, so I'm just going to delete it. Um, I'm not interested. So the next thing I wanted to show you, we did overlay, we did text, or you can do stickers. Here are some stickers. 
So here are your different stickers. If you want to put YouTube subscribe in there, you can do that. If you want to put like, there you go. Boom. That's like. Let's play it. And see. Some of Ooh, you are so looking for the here. QR. So you can do that. We're going to delete it because we don't need that right now. So those are the stickers. Those are the stickers you can use. They also have this. Some people say GIF. Some people say GIF. So whichever one it is that you prefer to say, doesn't matter. These are your options. So you can choose some of those to put on there. You can put emojis. So those are all the different functions that you can use for that particular. Um, Uh-oh, I just went out of that. <laughs> all right, so, and we're back. Um, sound, if you want to do different sounds. This comes from YouTube's library. I want to show you um, how I know that because it says view usage license. We'll click that. Right here, it tells you YouTube audio library license. You can use these audio tracks in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. No attribution is required. YouTube may credit the artist and link the audio library from your video. You may not make available, distribute, or perform the music files from this library separately from videos or other content into which you have incorporated these music files. Uh, for example, standalone distribution of these files is not permitted. Uh, if you agree with that, then you go ahead and press OK. And then you can go ahead and choose from all of these different examples, all these different uh, music genres. And as you can see, it has royalty free underneath each song. And it has the artist's name, just in case you're interested in that. They have it broken down into different moods. I think that's pretty cool. If you want something that's happy, dramatic, bright, chill, funky, sad, angry, dark, love, uplifting. Okay. If you want some uplifting, if you want the different genres of music, they have it broken down into that. That's cool as well. Hip hop, pop, indie, R&B, dance, folk, rock, Latin country, ambient, blues, Bollywood, classical, jazz, family, metal, reggae, seasonal soundtracks and musicals so you have all those different options you have generated soundtracks um, generate your own soundtrack i have not done that as you can see there is nothing there and you also have the option to just choose sound effects um, which you know you can just scroll through those and find something that you like phone ringing train whistle you know just browse the options and find something that works for you to make your video come alive your music if you are someone that creates music, I would imagine you can um, figure that out by pressing allow access and then figure out what the rules are for that. Okay, so the next thing is, hmm, what do we forget? Voiceover. If you want to create a voiceover, I do not. <laughs> it's asking you for permission here. So now I don't want to do it. I'm going to press don't allow and back to editor. Captions. This one is I like this feature. So I just want to show you how you can use the captions for this particular video and you can use it for yours as well. If you want the captions to show up on your video, then you would just go to captions, create captions from your projects, audio, choose the sound source, then select the language spoken in that audio. So it's telling you exactly what to do. You don't have to guess. Sound source required. Click the carrot. Sound from video is what I would choose. Language spoken, it says required. So pick one. English for me. And select translation language. It's in English. So we're going to go ahead and create that audio. Let's see what they say. Done generating captions. That was pretty quick for this one. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of storage or what, but it usually takes mine a little bit longer. And it probably depends on how long your video is. That's just a guess. I'm not sure. But let's play it and see if you can get the idea of what the caption sound like. And then we'll move on to the next thing. Hi, my name is Andrea. Some of you are looking for the QR code on your YouTube. Okay, so you see how that works. I, and you can also edit the captions. See, it gives you a editing function. If you have some words that are um, misspelled or if the translation uh, for the caption is incorrect, then you can just go ahead and fix those words. Right. So I'm not going to do that right now. And you can also change the style. 
Again, you have the option to change the style, change the font, change the color, change the background, format, outline, <laughs> shadow. You can do so many different things with this program. I am going to erase it because it's a distraction for me. So there we go. You can see that you could do captions. What else is down here? Voiceover captions, canvas. That's just uh, figuring. Let's see. We'll just figure this out together. Okay, I'm going out of canvas. <laughs> Aspect ratio. That's if you'd like to change it to a 16 by 9. That's what it will look like if you want to change it to a 9 by 16. That is for your vertical video and a one by one is that square look like if you were posting it to Instagram or something that requires that square uh, feature I'm keeping it at vertical all right I'm saving it and that's it oh no that's not it I'm sorry this is the part that some of you really wanted to know about how to cut your video okay let's say you want to cut some things from the front of it so you would just do like you normally do just trim it from the front I don't want you can trim it that way. You can trim the back end of it like this. And you can also go in, let's say you just want to cut the video at a certain spot. So you just click on the scissor and then you scroll to the point where you want to cut it out. Click that again. And then you highlight the area that you want to cut and then you just delete it. There you go. Now, I don't want to do either of those things. So I'm just going to put it back. There you go. So if you have any questions about anything that I have done in this video, oh, I did forget, but you can just go down here. I'm just going to show you. They have different filters. You can scroll through those if you like. There are so many different filters that you can look at. Um, you can also do different effects. Here they are. They have so many different ones. So you can see that you can pretty much do any type of editing with this program at the palm of your hands it says you can adjust things you can adjust the color the brightness contrast highlights shadows white point warmth all those tint okay so i'm not going to go into all of that you can do transitions here so i would suggest that you play around with it like i've done and you can speed it up isn't that cool you can speed it up if you want something at four point you can go look how fast you can make it there you are, that's an example. And then if I wanted to just be regular. And so I'm here to help you do that today. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you're going to do. Okay, so let me cancel that and make sure I have not forgotten anything. Volume, audio cleanup. If you press audio cleanup, it's going to take out. Oh, it just makes your audio sound much more crisp and clear. And uh, let me see if I can show you. This is what it looks like when you do audio cleanup. They give you a little graphic. Uh, in which they're fixing the issues. So we'll wait a second and we're done. Now let's see. Audio cleanup removes background noise. Tap to turn it off. So it'll, if you have some background noise, then it should clear that right up. And I'm not sure how much background noise it'll clear. But if you're in a room at a party, it's probably not going to clear all the background noise. But you test it. I've not been to a party in a long time, so I can't tell you if it really works or not. But that's a feature that you can test out for yourself. Um, I want to make sure I didn't forget any of the other options. Replace, rearrange, delete, duplicate. Yeah, I think that's about it. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave me a comment um, in the comment section. And that's the end of this video. <laughs> I'll see you at the next one. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos like this one. Bye.